we bought some um, marrow bone. It's called marrow pipe bones to make some beef broth. So uh, we'll take you along and show you how to make some. Um, this is me uh, putting it in a pan and I'm going to bake some, bake this and then show you the rest. Okay. After 40 minutes of baking, you can see the inside and all that grease that's down underneath here, it's hot. There's a lot of grease, but we're going to put it into the crock pot as well. And um, I'm going to deglaze everything that was um, stuck on. Ouch. There was pepper in there um but anyways so i'm gonna wait for it to cool and then i'll de i'll put everything into the crock pot or the instapot i'll put everything in there put vegetables in i'll deglaze that the pan i'll deglaze the pan and then put all of that goodness into the instapot okay so as you can see, um, the this really needs to be cooked. It's getting, it's wilting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the, I'm going to cut it in in half and put the entire thing to the Instapot. I'm also going to add some, just whatever you have around the house. Like uh, I have these, so I'm going to throw some of those in. I'm going to throw some carrots in. We have a large bag of carrots. I'm going to throw some onions in, including the skin. So I'm going to put the skin in there as well because we're, we are going to strain it. This is um, making beef, beef, beef broth. You can add everything, a whole onion or what is this? Garlic. I'm going to cut it in half and take out this part at least and then um, put that whole thing in there. going to cut this up into fours. That's good. Put that in there. Take that off. And I'm just going to put everything in here. And then we're going to add some spices pepper, salt, black pepper, salt, um, and maybe some parsley and some basil. And then um, put the beef in or the beef bone shanks, whatever the, the marrows, um, put that in there. Uh, and then fill up the, the water to the max line, which is right there. It says on your, on your Instapot where it is. So I'm gonna add a few more things in there and then um, and then I'll add the um, the beef in there. Maybe I should add the beef before I before I put anything else in there so that I know it fits because it's getting pretty full in there vegetables. So Roy and I have been eating um, chicken broth um, and beef broth for Gosh, it's been several weeks, and uh, every time Roy drinks some of the, uh, well, we our first batch was chicken broth. Oh man, I tried to record that, but I had company over, so it was kind of hard to make it. I was making it while they were here. <laughs> Roy, um, every time he drank the the chicken broth that we had, uh, he was like, "Oh my my um, my bones feel so much better now," or. Um, I could feel it. I could feel my, my health coming back to me. Uh, how we did the ch uh, the chicken broth was with uh, chicken feet. I've never used chicken feet before. I've never never cooked with chicken feet. Oh, that was the first time. But anyway, so that was uh, that was interesting. But the broth was really good. Um, it's not like your broth that you would uh, buy at the grocery store. And I used to buy, uh, in, in fact, I still have a, a box of uh, uh, 
chicken broth that I use for my red rice or or soups or whatever. Um, but uh, I'm never going to use those things again. I'm going to start making my own because it tastes so much better and it's just great in a, uh, a cup of broth. Oh, it's so good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to deglaze. I'm going to dump all this oil into there. Then I'm going to deglaze that, then dump that in there. Then I'm going to fill it up uh, with the, uh, the rest of the way with water to that max line and um, add some um, other spices, salt, um, because this is going to be like a, a soup in, um, for Roy and I. So take the oil and carefully dump the oil into the pot. Oh, that's a lot of oil. But after it's all done, the broth is done, I'm going to, uh, we're going to strain it, all the vegetables. That's why you leave your skins in there and you take out all the goodness out of there. Um, but after it's all done, uh, we're going to strain it and then we're going to take the fat out of it. So there's not going to be any flat fat in there anymore. Um, the reason we're putting the fat in is because it's got all that flavor and um so that's what we're gonna do. So now I'm going to deglaze the, the pan. I normally don't talk on the videos, but because there's no one here, um, I'm gonna. <laughs> By the way, this is a Pampered Chef item, but they don't sell it anymore. And this is my favorite tool. I make roux, huge batch of gravy with this. Um, but they don't sell it anymore. I think I am gonna have to turn on the, the oven, or the oven, the stove top, to heat this up so it'll come off better. Okay guys, I deglazed it, uh, the pan, and I'm about to hopefully put it directly into the pot and not all over me. And so now, let me put these little pieces in there that didn't go in. So now I'm going to um, add water, the, the water to the max line. Yes, it is the eight quart, and the little one that I use in the RV is, I believe, the it's the smallest one next to this one. But um, this is a big one. So we're going to pressure cook. We're going to pressure. We're going to press. We're going to pick um, beef, beef, and so let me make sure that. It's down. Make sure this is not on vents, and we're going to start. I've made, I've, I've made potatoes in this when we've gone traveling, and I, I would get the potatoes, cut it up, put it in there, cook it for like six minutes, and then put it, um, take it out, put it in the in a Ziploc bag, little Ziploc bags, and put it in our freezer. And uh, when we stop somewhere, I already have pre-cooked um, potato, and we really like our Instapot in the RV. It's it's a really smaller version of it, but it kind of it jellifies. And I, I don't know if you guys remember making stafau, but you know, at the next morning or when you put it in the refrigerator, you take it out. It's kind of jelloy. Uh, that's the cons that's what you want. And um, read up about about bone broth and how it benefits you and your health. And that's the reason Roy and I started. Um, so I don't know how long this is gonna last, but hey, we're doing it. We're trying to, anyways. But um, and we really like it. You can add add it to instead of water to your ramen, you add this. You know, instead of the box one to your red rice, add this. This is so much better. Oh my gosh. And the flavor, it, depending on what you put in there, you know, you you can come up with all kinds of stuff. You guys, I forgot the most important thing. The ding ding ling ling. ling. <laughs> no, I forgot that you have to add in, it actually 
apple cider vinegar helps to bring out all that uh, the marrow or everything that's good. It helps bring it out. It actually helps to um, and helps gelatize it. Is that the word? But I don't. So I think they say like a fourth cup, but I just kind of eyeball it. So I'm just going to pour it in. Hey, that's good. <laughs> so, oh man, it started to cook and I was like, oh no, I forgot the most important thing. And so you got to add in apple cider vinegar. Don't forget that. That's really important. Oh, I'm so glad it didn't, it didn't. Uh, so, okay, that's fine. And I'm going to pressure cook and I'm going to put it on beef. Two hours, please. Okay, two hours. And I'm going to start. Ah. I'm so glad I saw that before before um, it started to get really warm. Everyone's gone. Jackie and Alex flew to, um, and Sarah flew to New Orleans to visit with um, Kristen. Uh, Kristen is also flying from, uh, Christy's flying from, um, gosh, Virginia. I think that's where she lives. And she's flying to New Orleans, to New Orleans. We're gonna have a girl's week. Um, so Jackie's gone. She flew out, or she's flying out today. So she's at the airport. Roy's gone fishing. Let me show you the, let me show you where they're at here. There's Jess on her perch. She's up there. See that little black spot on her, on her cat? And then there's Chibi, always at the window. Usually Jess is up there too. But, so I decided I'm gonna make this a Sheila day and I'm gonna cook and I'm gonna make this. And I hope you guys enjoyed that, um, the bread that I made yesterday. Oh, it's saying there's somebody in the backyard, or it's normally a bird. But I baked bread yesterday, little dinner rolls, and um, everyone liked them. I wanted to make something for Jackie last night, but um, so we're just checking outside because you know I have. If if you guys know us, there's a creep over there that messes with us he's over there that's why that see that thing is on our on our fence because he likes to peek through the fence into here and look at us so we put that screen thing over there but um and we put up cameras so that he doesn't um so we know for my for my benefit so i know that he's not messing with us we put up cameras back there and we put up sensors outside and all along our backyard because of it and whenever somebody's gone when roy's gone specifically i get nervous wow i look i'm so sorry about the way i look but um so anyways there you go all right you guys i'll show it to you once it's all done okay okay so roy is home <laughs> and this just turned off and it says it's ready so i'm gonna open it up Whoa! pressure so there it is so now I'm going to um, put it into the strainer and in a large bowl. So I started to do it, but it's like really heavy for me because of all that bone. So Roy's going to do it for me. Oh, crap. Sorry about that. Are you, are you sorry? Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just dump it all over there. Mm. 
Bones and all. Bones and all. And it's go in. What else? What about your bones and your body? Tell them oh, what you joints. feel. My joints feel better every time I drink it. It's like, I can feel my joints getting so much better now. <laughs> I can move my fingers. Oh I my was, God, they're not in pain. I was telling them about that. <laughs> about what you say about it. Okay. It's All right, guys. True. So this is what we were able to make last night. It, this is the next day. Um, we strained it. We um, Then we put it into these two containers. Um, see the fat up here? We're going to be scraping that off. And underneath it is, it's like gelatin. And that's the broth that we're going to eat. Or before we drink it. Or use it. Okay. Okay, we're going to throw this right in. Actually, you could save this. A lot of people save this part um, to cook with. Like they would do um, bacon. So they save this. It's uh, flavored. But... I'm not allowed to have this, so I'm going to get rid of it. People today still use it. Back in the day, this is what they would use, the lard, to cook all kinds of stuff. And look at all the seasoning is in there. But I'm throwing it away because it's not good for me. Okay, so I'm going to show you the inside of this. See how it's jellified? It's gelatin cup. Look who's here to say hi. Is your mommy not here? Is mommy not here for you? Mommy's on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, let me do the other one. So now I'm going to pour it into our cup. It's very jelly. I think the chicken is more jellified than this is. I'm gonna pour the rest of this in here. But all that marrow, collagen, everything is in here. This is good for your skin to look young. It's good for your bones. I'm gonna heat it up in the microwave. So once it's all done, um, Roy and I can have a treat and drink some of it. But thank you guys for watching.